Welcome to all the ETOP Jaguar club members and ETOP Jaguar enthusiasts. Um, I was very fortunate yesterday, I, there's a, a gentleman who lives near me, uh, well an hour and a half from where I live in Austria, um, a, a gentleman called uh, Martin, who has a wonderful XK120 drop head coupe and a Carmen Red Series 2 OTS. Um, both beautiful cars and I was very fortunate enough to be able to drive his E-Type yesterday out through the mountains, absolutely wonderful experience, can't wait to get mine on the road. Anyway, he, uh, some a year or more ago he asked me about this Evans coolant, I hadn't got it but I did do quite a bit of research on it and th this stuff is uh, Evans Classic Cool 180, um, it's a product that's been around for around about 20 or more years. Um, and people have asked me on, on emails and uh, you know on the YouTube you know why, why it's not used on all cars and, and to be honest there's a, there's a very simple answer to that is if the main manufacturers used this if you think about it financially they wouldn't be able to sell as many water pumps radiators hoses and all the paraphernalia that goes with the radiator system and although this is uh, a quite an expensive system, it is a one shot deal, it's good for life, it never needs to be topped up. The downside is it, it is quite expensive, but if you take it over the life of a car it's not. Certainly from the corrosion point of view, because I've got an aluminium head on the E-Type, I want to make sure I, I keep it in good condition. All metal, it's non-corrosive, there's no water. So if there's no water, there's no vapour and there's no steam. Simple. Uh, a, a very, very clever system and you can see maybe here by the viscosity of this, is this, this, this quite high, this is the colour of it, there's quite a high, strong smell to it but you can see it's quite viscous and, and uh, Martin, this chap I drove his E-Type yesterday, he goes to Italy a lot with his E-Type and, and down in Tuscany and last year he had this coolant in, he's, he's always had problems with it overheating, had to leave the thermostat out, the usual things that people do with classic cars and he had this in, he has an air conditioning fitted to it as well so he had the air conditioning going because he has a hard top on it as well it's a convertible but with a hard top, a detachable hard top it was 40 degrees outside, he was in a traffic jam for some hours with the air con going and no issues at all, no problems this would have overheated for, for sure in a normal situation with water and when he got to the place where he was staying after a few minutes he took off the radiator cap and basically nothing. Now in any other situation this, this if you took the cap off a radiator where it was up to full temperature it would just blow out like a volcano. So this proves that this stuff is, is so good. If, if you want to have a look on the internet, if you go, there's, a, there's a, a website with Jay Leno's Garage which I watch from time to time and he's had this in a, in a Duesenberg, a very, very expensive Duesenberg for the last 16 or 17 years. Um, you know, the bottom line is, is the old school and new school is, is well we've always used water so let's keep using it but to me if you can save the corrosion and you have a mass, massive reduction in pressure it can only be good for the whole car and the system the downside would be if you were to get a puncture in the radiator that would be a problem because you'd lose it and if you had to put water in it to get home you would destroy it because it can only take 3% but the chance of that happening should be slim and, and a hose bursting is probably near, not impossible, but the chances are not likely. Anyway, this is it, Evans Cooler, there's, there's different types, there's ones for uh, motocross bikes and skidoos and all that kind of stuff, and then there's one for antique cars, one for heavy, uh, heavy commercial vehicles, and this one. And uh, I would recommend it to anybody. I, it's going in my car, and I'm going to put it, even put it in this uh, Cooper that you can see here when when the engine's all done up and the new subframe and so on. Anyway, thanks for watching in. I hope that's of some interest to you. But, you know, this is the way to go. Thanks, and uh, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Take care. Bye for now.